Who uh who's going for three in a row? Rom didn't win it last year. Tory Pines? Unless there's a different event at Tory Pines. He didn't win this event. Uh, he, he won Tory like two years ago. Oh, okay. Maybe. No, they said he's going for a three Pete. No, that's He might Luke, not have started Luke, there last Luke year Lynch then. Won it last year. Did he play there last year? Could have been, I don't know. So injury. T3. T3, 14 under. Oh. Yeah, I he seen plays. a stat today that he was like. He won 445. Well, if he miles. wins, he won earlier this year. Mm -hmm. And then this is, hey, they're probably talking about three tournaments in a row that he's participated in. Because he won, he didn't play the Sony. You know what I mean? Yeah. And with that, boys, we are back. Episode 40. Ooh, is it 4 0? Oh, 40. Brady's age. Oh. Big number. <laughs> it's almost double. We're 10 away from. We got to do something special at 50. Maybe on site somewhere. I'm yeah, hoping gotta, I'm hoping back with our sponsor. That'd be nice. Oh, on site for 5 0. Oh, Moon Golf. Moon Golf. That, oh, that's a good Speaking idea. This episode is presented to you by our official partner, Moon Golf. Did you say official partner? Official partner. What all can they do, Brady? They can fit you. They, they can uh, sell you gear. They can. I don't know. You they can lead. You want to. They can lead you to the correct gear yeah. for your swing based off tempo, mm -hmm. swing speed, how bad you are. And you just, this is how much we believe. We're not just saying moon golf because moon golf. This is how much we believe in moon golf. Zach just got fitted last week for, for what you get? Callaway Paradigm Three Wood. Oh man! And I was getting two eighty roll out. But here, here's That's a crazy. testimony right here. Uh, he texts us about it. They could have easily upsold you and made you spend more money but they fit him and it just so happened the shaft that was in it and but they could have easily said you need a different shaft and made another three hundred dollars off of you probably absolutely yeah because when i was walking up to the counter so you you swing and they ask you is there a price rent? i said no i won't i want what works for me because yeah. there's no reason to like limit it well i know the the price of the three was 349 mm -hmm. the standard now I was swinging, 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 and then I finally found the shaft, and they were, is that low piercing ball flight? And we get to the counter, and I'm on the way up. I'm like, oh, how much is this going to cost? Because I know I just got fitted. I got a shaft from my driver a couple weeks ago, and I didn't know the cost of it. It was three fifty. <laughs> I get to the front, and he rings it up. It's like three sixty or seventy, whatever, with mm -hmm. tax. I said, there's no cost for the shaft. He said, Callaway expanded it. It's one of the ones included. Yeah, hmm. I said, boy, I'm about to go get fitted for the hybrid. <laughs> that's crazy. And that's how you know Moon Golf will uh, make sure they get the right club for you. Because, like I said, easily could have put another shaft in there and told him an extra 300 bucks. But they said, no, this is the right one for our boy. We're gonna put him in it, and uh, I believe it's gonna work. Because when they fit you for the driver, the driver has been oh, it's it's worked. Money. So we believe in Moon Golf. We love their products. Uh, they sell and their staff. Yep. Yeah. So friendly. They sell all the top tier, top quality apparel. Uh, footwear, uh, putters, dude. Y'all been putters go lower. The putter yep. section. I oh. love the little pyramid setup when you walk in. I always feel so bad to take it down. I know. It's just those little with. touches of detail that uh, yep. Ann and Dan do that make it uh, so good. I went in there to drop off some of our new flyers for the tournament that we have coming up. VSG oh. Classic 2023. <laughs> Ooh. So if you go in there and see our ca uh, the flyer on the counter, go ahead and scan that code and register. Get yeah, entered. Spots are starting to fill up quick. Yeah. I <laughs> think we have. Almost unlimited spots available just because we can double up if we need to. Yeah. Um, but the first set of spots that we originally planned are starting to fill up quick. Yeah. I heard when I was down there that Ann and Dan <gasps> were going to be in it. No. So Whoa. that's what that's what they were saying. That'd be huge. Yeah, that would be awesome. Ann and Dan. They're going to win a gift card to their own store. That would be big. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Ann's ever played the course, though, so she has pretty good competition. I, I was telling somebody, uh, oh, it was my uh, – brother-in-law in the mountains he was because they they play golf and he was saying him and his uh girlfriend or they're like we need to enter and i said i don't know if you do and he said why i said this isn't really a uh friendly like go out there and it is for charity you know kind of tournament but this is going to be like a competition yeah which is what we want yeah i talked to one of my cousins this weekend out of signing up i was like i said the same thing yeah. pretty much because <laughs> i was trying to tell him i was like yeah i mean we want people to have fun that's the biggest thing but like my, I want it to be a competition. Like I want people grinding over three foot putts. Like, oh, this has that's the whole reason it's a two man tournament, so nobody can be cheating. Yeah. Like I want to see somebody come in with what nine, ten under, and make that hold the clubhouse. I don't know. Yeah. I want it to be a fight, and the people that we have signed up, it's gonna be good. I ordered the first place trophies this weekend. Ooh, 
So I'm excited. Let's go ahead and jump into the BSG class real quick, can we? Yeah. Uh, so first place, we'll go talk through the prizes. You not only will you get each person a two hundred fifty dollar gift card to our favorite store, Moon Golf, but you'll each get a uh, glass trophy, custom glass engraved trophy with the date. Yep. The first place, and and then we're ordering the BSG cup. You and your teammate pictures with it, drink out of it, whatever you want. Uh, we're gonna get y'all's names engraved on the plate, and then you get you and your team get to come back to the next one for free to defend that title. Uh, so with the cup, but every time somebody wins, we're gonna get their name put on it, and we're gonna see if somebody can go back to back, whatever. So if you win, you get a free entry to the next one. You get the trophies, you get the gift cards. Second place is um, a three-hour slot. E- each person gets a three-hour slot to the uh, T Times Golf Studio in Opelika, which is fun. Uh, we love going. We had a terrible time at oh, it's so TPC, cold. <laughs> uh, but you get that. And then third place uh, is this the Prince and the Drive Bar. Drive bar. Drive bar. Speaking yep. of which, I need to email Chase back. Chase, if you're watching, email me back, please. So you get to go drop bar and the prints. And then, like we said, a portion of all this goes to the Big House Foundation. Uh, so, And we're just kind of getting our feet wet because we plan on doing another one in the fall at a different course. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Try to start it, running, it, spreading it around the area. Yeah, yeah that's this, the goal. This tournament's not settled on one place we're definitely no. going to try to move it around yeah we don't want uh someone to come into point who knows the course dominate win it come back to the next one do the same thing we're going to start going to courses and uh make you if you want to win back to back status you better be grinding out there also for the next one if we're able to get it at the location that we expect i have a really good uh possible person that wants to play like he's already messaged me about actually playing mm. uh, can we drop names on the pod yeah i don't know if y'all know him it's not colin okay uh, i was gonna message colin but since we didn't get the original place i didn't but uh christian's cousin john boy story out of phoenix city oh john boy yeah do you know him no nope. but okay. he sounds like he's a good musician oh yeah y'all like him and he's gonna he's kind of music oh so we'll have a, we'll have another one because if we can do it where we want, I thought the next one we would go to uh, shoot. Dang it, I forget. I forgot his kid's name. Is it Montgomery Gentry? This is my town. <laughs> 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 uh, but no, so we got one planning in the fall. Uh, so we, we're just having fun with it. We think it's going to be fun. As of now, we don't think we're playing in it. One, we know we won't win. But two, we want to be able to ride around and see everybody, hang out with everybody. Uh, and chit chat, but I would like to enter if I if I can. I know yeah. you know I'd like to see where we finish. Oh, I'm scared to know where Hank, we finish. Hank's homies. Oh yeah, that's, that's the, the foundation. Next one. So Connor and his, which he said he's like plus four. It's gonna be a good competition. So is Connor coming? Yeah, not to April. Oh, to okay. October. Oh, okay. Oh, but to April, Jay is coming up from Panama City. Yeah, yeah. Jay's coming up uh, from Bay Point and bringing. I think he has a buddy in Birmingham, uh, bringing him up. So. There's going to be a lot of good competitors. Yeah, that's what, that's what we want. I want yeah. it to be competitive. I didn't want this just to be old Joe from down the street that plays once every three months and hits the ball. She's 120. Not Joe or Jody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't think he's going to be there. He's got a no. uh, He's got a fishing tournament that is a little bit more. Priority? Yeah, priority. Are any of his boys going to play? Um, as far as I know, two or three of them told me they were planning on signing up, but you know, we know who signed up already. And they Jeremy said he was out scouting today for talent to play. We, so we had this talk. If you don't know, Jeremy is Zach's brother. Uh, he's playing in the event, has the prime position of he can pick a teammate now. And we gave him a heads up. We said, Jeremy, this is going to be tough competition. Pick wisely. And at first, he is throwing out some names. We're like, you're not going to win with that. You may not even shoot under par. In the yeah. <laughs> uh, and so I think he kind of took our advice, and now he's recruiting. He's recruiting, yeah. Okay. He said, I might get Maddox. I said, you too late for that. He got the assistant coach. He said, maybe um, Blake. I said, nope, you too late for that too. Blake who? Watson. Oh, is he, who's he with? Oh, he's Maddox. with Maddox. He's yeah, with Maddox, yeah. Assist, yeah. I Dang. said, you might get talk to Scott. Yeah. Oh Scott no, would, Scott has I already messaged Scott if he's playing. That's one his birthday, two the member member at uh New oh, is Club. It? Yeah, so he won't be able to make it. Which why did we not get our invites in the mail to the members? <laughs> yeah. Since, since we run that place. <laughs> we're we, we we're lifetime po- members from we what we've done. We would postponed the BSG Classic to come up there and whoop some tail in the member. April member. 29th was available. <laughs> yeah. We would do it. But uh so Jeremy uh he he's running a little late. He was talking to uh Shannon. Oh, that's a good one. He knows the course. Yeah. 
That'd kind of be like. He said he might have some talent. He could send with Jeremy. Ooh. <laughs> oh, shall Shannon not play, but find somebody? Right, yeah. Oh, oh okay. I say, if it was Shannon, that's going to be one of them, like, he puts Jeremy on his back and says, just come with me, son, and just carries Jeremy through that No, course. but, I mean, even if it's one of the team players yeah. from LaGrange that know it. Also, the closest to the pin, uh, we've got prizes for those. Long drive. We're going to do a uh, straightest drive, which yep. first time I ever did that was in the. Uh, Busted Jack. No. Oh. They didn't have that, did they? Yep. Didn't they have yeah, it? They on? did. It was right after we blew up on that part. No, three. it was Highland. Highlands, yeah, yeah. It was the Highlands with the no, straightest drive. Buster Jack it was had on 18. One. Remember that part three? No, nine. Line? Nine going, uh, right? Yeah, it was nine. But that part three in Texas, nobody got the right yardage. We sucked at it and then we went to the very next hole and made a birdie. But it was a uh, it was straightest drive. Oh, I didn't see that. That was a good partnership. Well, we weren't in the fairway, so yeah. I guess For that cool. distance, that was a good partnership. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> 18 birdies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where y'all at? <laughs> <laughs> holla <laughs> holla at us please uh, so that like I said BSG class is going to be a lot of fun and it's going to keep traveling different courses maybe it becomes something bigger like we're modeling after the barstool uh, we want to win maybe we go three. nationwide oh boy get us Tory Pines we're looking at you get us on a plane We'll start around here local. I'm ready for out. the Hawaii version. <laughs> we go out to Hawaii for a week. It's funny, like, how quick Barstool sells out. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's instant, and it's 400 per. Yeah. Per person. So you there. can get in ours for 75 per person, and that's supporting a charity every time you do it. I tried to talk Jeremy into joining the Barstool. He said, 400. I said, bro, it'll be fun. Look, I said, you're getting to meet Rigs. Yep. That'd the be whole the gang, you have unlimited drinks, yep. food. The, uh, I, I saw that two sign up for their tournament i mean obviously you got to pay the 400 bucks but you have to submit a handicap that has been kept up for like two years by on your gin handicap system it's got to be gin yes oh. not 18 birdies no nope. it's got to be submitted through gin to be well, able to get in there so. i just said we're playing for fun we ain't <laughs> yeah we're just we playing for the best dressed because that's a prize they do at yeah. uh, barstool uh oh last thing about bsg classic if you want to sing the national anthem, holler at us. Please. We need oh, somebody to, to do it. it. All four of us? All four, yeah. yeah. Huh. Oh, oh, say, say can, can you see? see? But we'd rather hand it off to somebody. You don't have to be a great singer. We just want to show our patriotism and uh, sing that national we anthem. We thought Jeremy was going to do it. He wouldn't You know, it. he's done that uh, <laughs> the <laughs> album. <laughs> he's done one before. So if you want to sing it, holler at us. We're 100% serious. We want somebody to sing it before everybody drives off in their carts, and we like that firework. It goes boom, and everybody knows the oh, start. Oh, we could do a firework. That's the plan. I want to get like a big mortar firework. Or and, a uh, gun. Everybody get. <laughs> I don't know if they let us shoot a gun. That's why I said firework. <laughs> Light that thing. Everybody hears it boom. You know to tee off. I hear plenty of gunshots around that golf course. So. Maybe we shoot them into the water. Who knows? I mean, that's, that is part of the neighborhood around it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> on certain Anyways, ends it. Check out the BSG Classic on BeStillGolf.com. Get entered. If you want to sponsor, it's 100 bucks. You get a sign on a hole, and uh, come have a good time. We're going to recap the American, the Amex tournament from this past week. Uh, we obviously know who won by a uh, small margin, actually. I was about to say a mile, but, I mean, he definitely dominated, but no, uh, it wasn't just given to him. It was not. But John Rahm beat out um, Davis Thompson. And before we get into, like, our picks, I just wanted to say when I was watching it, I saw um, Davis – and I was like, this kid looks familiar. Like, I've seen him somewhere. And so he actually led for the first, like, round at, I think it was Wingfoot, when they had the U.S. Open there a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. He was he shot the lowest score on the first day there. And uh, he was, like, six under, something like that. So when he was a f senior in college, he was had the lowest round at uh, the U.S. Open. That's crazy. I'm sitting here trying to pull it up. Never mind, we won't From get into this that. past week? Yeah, but it ain't like But anyways, so I didn't get to watch much of it, uh, but apparently Ron was just on a mission. Yeah, I mean, he was dialed for sure. The bunker shot he hit on 18 was something like, I mean, you've got to be able to do that as the number one player in the world. And notice I said. He's coming. That, that's what I predicted at the beginning. Yeah. He will be there. And, um, But, I mean, Davis, to be his age, he's 23 Competing with those guys? Yes. He's got a lot of golf ahead of him and uh, probably a lot of wins in front of him. And he he's actually from Auburn. He uh, grew up here, uh, went to Lee Scott Academy. One of my uh, my boss's son said that he went to school with his sister at Lee Scott. And uh, he was the 2022-2021 
SEC Player of the Year, 2021 Walker Cup. Uh, he was on that winning team. Uh, he already has ten to, uh, two top tens this season, 13 out of 20 cuts made. Jeez. And already has $1.3 million in the I was going to say, I'm pretty sure he's made some money just yeah. by doing that. That's wild that – uh, from playing golf, you can yeah. make money like that. Not even winning either. Yeah. Well, that's what kids does. Yeah. You're right. Ain't no hobby, baby. Maybe he's somebody we can reach out to for the four man. Uh, we might have should have done it a lot but, earlier. Yeah, but. before he became this big. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who, hey, four play gets some guys on there. Why, why can't we? Yep. Uh, so I Ron, think our guest in a couple of weeks might give us a shot. Get us on the four man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Four, we'll get into that in a minute. We got some guests coming up. Big uh, guests. Rom, though, doing what he does, will he carry over to this week, which takes us to the Farmers Insurance uh, at Torrey Pines? Can he do it again? Luke Liss is the defending champion. Is he in the field? Let me double ch- – you know, I can do that on the PGA Tour app presented by Bisto Golf or Bisto <laughs> Golf presented by PGA <laughs> Tour. Wouldn't that be a relationship right there? <laughs> uh, let's see, Luke List, we're about to get to it now. I've got a few of my favorites at the top I want to get into it in a minute. Uh, while um, you're doing that, I'll just go ahead and say that I have picked. He is. He is. Oh, nice. Uh, Colin Morikawa is my winner this week. Give me JT. Post-honeymoon. You think he's feeling good? <laughs> <laughs> he's feeling, He's as clear-headed as a man can be. I'm going Will Zalatoris. I think he's going to uh, get top ten and fizzle out on the back nine. Listen, he came in second last year. I think he's – you know, he's a young guy, winning some stuff. He may get a major this year if he can keep it up. But I'm going Wills out towards. He's my main pick. Now, these are – we're going to mark it. We're going to see who gets it. But then when we go into fantasy golf, you're allowed to pick four? Uh, six. Oh, yeah, because you have the yeah, reserve. Yeah, you get the, your the bench. bench. Yeah, the bench. I still haven't figured out, like, if the person doesn't – if you pick somebody in your starting lineup and they don't make the cut – I, I you can it, rotate. That's where you rotate your bench player. In. Yeah, but you still get points if you don't. <laughs> I did not know that. That's why I had not been swapping it when somebody don't make the cut. Well, see, I didn't either. I mean, and if you dumb, you dumb. <laughs> it wouldn't <laughs> let me. It wouldn't let me because uh, Grayson Sig didn't make the cut. Which they had a Saturday cut this past weekend. Did y'all notice that? This one finished this Saturday too. Yeah, this one starts on. Uh, I hate Wednesday. this app. I cannot scroll. Oh up. yeah, there's a reminder at the top. It's, and it you get an Wednesday. email. So, let me – my fantasy picks, uh, my guy doesn't play in a lot of events. I picked him for the past two events. I'm riding with him. Zach Blair. We love Zach Blair. We love Zach Blair. Uh, he's going he's gonna to surprise somebody one day. One day. Then I got Wills out of tours, of course. You know, I had to – when they're hot, they're hot. Put them in the lineup. John Rahm's in the lineup. And then I still have a good feeling about Tony Finau this year. I think uh, last year he played a lot of good golf. This year I got him A lot of good, not great. Uh, listen, fantasy ain't about being great. It's about getting me points. And right now, I'm like in fifth place. I need some points. I got to go by the names again. I need to do like I did oh, last no. week. I'm just here's my bench scrolling. players. I noticed somebody on the bench that hasn't played a lot in the re- last year or two, so I put him on my bench. Jason Duffner. Had to put him oh, in the line. I kind of like that because he's – I feel like he's in a lot of debt. So oh, he fine. needs the money. <laughs> he needs the he money. He needs the money. He's trying to do good. Apparently, he's selling his house in Auburn because he needs the money. And then – I put a sleeper on here. Every time, sometimes I'll be having these little tournaments like this, and you'll be watching them. You're like, "How's this guy always in the top 10? Rory Sabatini. Yep, I like that pick. I put him in there. I got Colin, uh, Max Homa, Keegan Bradley, Harris English, Nick Hardy, and Kurt Kitayama. Ooh, how'd you come up with a Kurt guy? So they have a thing on the uh, the leaderboard when you're looking down. It's on the computer. I don't know if it's on the app, uh-huh. but it shows you their average points. That oh. they get per round, and he just had like 70 points per round or something like that. So I was like, this dude makes a lot of birdies. He's going on my list. So we just picked him? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here's mine. I got JT. Yep. Rom. Yep. Zalatoris. Hey, th- I'm trying <laughs> to win. <laughs> this man's going to and make fun of my pick and then pick him. No, I'm not picking him to win. He's just in my fantasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tyson Alexander. Never heard of him. <laughs> Look, you doubt my picks, but I've got math on this. He did that with Chris Kirk last week. You're right. Uh, Tony Finau and Patrick Rogers. Oh, Tony Finau's a great pick. Great. Patrick he's, Rogers. He's on the bench. Oh, that's a mistake. Uh, he's one of the, on the bench. One of the guys I favorited who does it. I haven't, you don't see him a lot on TV. Keegan Bradley. Yeah. I put him in my lineup. Did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did yeah, that. Just, yeah. He, uh, his, his, 
Yeah, he he wins a lot of money, but he doesn't. He's not on TV a lot. Um, Bob does sports. Just made a video playing against him. No, you're lying. Against yeah, Keegan? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that. Did too Keegan was. take? Did he do his thing where he takes forever to I walk have, up to the ball? I haven't watched it, but I'm sure they gave him a lot of crap if they did. Or oh man, Keegan already has a win this this season. I did not know that. Oh yeah, it was right at the early, like in the fall when nobody else was competing. Yeah, two top tens. That's the best time to win. He's this year. He's already made two point <laughs> five million dollars. And they're Must probably nice. six Could you event. imagine? He's made four cuts, and he did that out of five events. Five events, he's made $2.5 million. That's wild. I would play 10 to make that. I'd play a <laughs> lifetime to make that. <laughs> Travel and make that kind of money. But uh, might be in the hole we're, on, we're on the right path. Yeah. We're getting there. Especially after seeing – are we, are we going to uh, get into the news for the YouTube? Yeah, that's yeah, so nice. on there. Let us know uh, your picks in the comments, and uh, we'll see if y'all can – beat us get you a fantasy golf it's fine go ahead so breaking news today grant horvat Ooh. micah morris taylor made athletes. athletes what a switch from mizuno did you notice and cobra and cobra, cobra, and cobra. Yeah. which uh is kind of wild because one i think it's more surprising the tig and cobra because i feel like he was all all in. cobra yeah all, all it takes is a how many zeros, sir? Yeah. And that's and, it. But he had the Puma gear, and then you notice the last however many videos is all been Primo. All Primo. Hat, shirt. Uh, Grant's been rocking Primo forever. Primo's yeah. going to – they're going to get some good publicity from them. Oh, they are. Because now they're wearing Primo shirts. Even in that video, the promo sure. video, Micah had on the Tethermade hat, but Primo shirt. Um, I'm not sure if Tig or Grant are throwing out uh, – 15% off codes, but we have one with Primo. If you'd like BSG15. <laughs> and it helps your local BSG golf company. Your local YouTubers. <laughs> yeah, every time you use it. Uh, he's got some on now. I do. <laughs> They're very comfortable. Uh, in Grant's video, so Grant put out a video today. Brady said he watched it saying um, it was about time, the Several the times is what I heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he smiled a lot. He did video. smile a lot. I would be happy too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was behind the scenes. And one of the things he said on the range, which I noticed, was that um, he basically said something about this driver. As soon as I quit, started hitting it, I got 10 to 15 more yards. I noticed that too. And he's basically throwing a little shade at Mizuno saying this is the best driver I've hit, low spin. Better than any drive I've ever hit. And I was like, bro, you used to love some Mizuno just about three videos ago. Yeah. That's the only thing about these young kids. I feel like they're burning a lot of bridges. I, I think they're, I don't know behind the scenes if they're like, hey, thanks for your time. I'm going TaylorMade. If there's like, see, I'm out to TaylorMade. Yeah. <laughs> and then they just start making comments. But I feel like they're Well, you know, bridges. a lot of the deals, I mean, I know like for Hannah and them, their deals run out and it's like a end of the year. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's like a, it's a yearly contract. Like you're free. So, I mean, they might have been. You're right. Working with it, which is why they they both left. Yeah. But now there's no way though on the good good guys that all those guys contracts in because some yeah. of them signed contracts later. There's no way they had like yeah. four or six month contracts. No. And Bubba, uh, Bubba, Bubby, and uh, uh, Steve. I, I've Tacoma. been Tacoma. Yeah, I've been going to Tacoma's Instagram, and some of the comments were like, uh, or basically making fun of them for getting dropped by these YouTubers. But I'm like, yeah, they just kind of <laughs> dropped Tacoma real like. They literally put out a video on their YouTube channel, Tacoma did, like a couple weeks ago with these guys, and the next week they were with Callaway. I was like, that's a bad look right there. Yeah. And then they signed EAL, which will go about six months, and EAL is going to – I'm surprised with him have because he had uh, – He started with TaylorMade when he first right. started. Oh, wow. And then he went um, – because he had a video early on of him going to the kingdom, getting fitted. He's a TaylorMade. What a dream. Yep. And then he kind of went free agent. I watched one of his What's in the Bag. He's had random clubs in it. Uh, still played some Taylor Mays because I remember they sent him the stealth driver when it first came out and he did a video with it. Um, and now Tacoma, I'm like, oh. hey, I guess it's you, my boy. But you know what this means? You got Cobra and Mizuno looking wide open. Wide open. Looking like yeah. that. Wide open. And you know what? I love my blue what, Mizuno. What, kind, what kind of hat Brady got on over I got there? On a special limited that was edition. My, so that was my first thought. As soon as I seen um, Grant was gone, I said, who do they have now? Should we send a message and be like, I don't mean to uh, rebound or slide in your DM. <laughs> yeah, boys are here. We're here. And, we'll uh, get them sloppy seconds. We'll sign as big of a year contracts you need. <laughs> <laughs> Give me them clubs. Give me the all blue. The only thing that would make me leave you boys is if Tiger DM'd me himself and said, we need you at TaylorMade. <laughs> then I'd pay, I'd, clo- I'd pay out my own contract. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, I'm going. I'm going to hang out with Tiger. No, but, you know. That I'm was down. my first thought for both of them, Mizuno and Cobra. I was like, who do they have now? Nobody. Cobra's got Bryson, but that's it. Uh, 
what, who? Uh, That's what I'm saying. Who? I mean, who? Ricky, but Ricky's about Ricky. They, he's a uh, uh, Gary Woodland. They just signed Gary Woodland. Yeah. Uh, Cobra is going to for us for Lexi me Thompson. personally to go to Cobra. Cobra's going to have to. It's going to be more than clubs and money. They can have to like pay for my house or something. You know, so the club, silly. The they, <laughs> they reach out in an email tonight and be like, "Hey guys, we're uh, looking into the market in the southeast." Boy, you, we you, signed so quick. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't even be a question. We're going to pay you this much, and you go, we're going to get you. That easy? Boy, it's a business yeah, decision. It's all a bu- business. That, it's all business. So Whatever gets us to that goal quicker, Kirkland I'm reached there. out and said, we want to put y'all's Boy, face. I love Costco. <laughs> Give me that premier membership. What if you walked in Costco and there's like just a poster of they you They got the forged Kirkland irons club. coming out. I saw them. They look good, too. I think they just. I wish Wilson. I'd That's who Wilson. I was about to say. I'd take Wilson and Strix on. Oh boy, then we have a four man versus kids. Oh boy, let me start naming Wilson real quick. <laughs> Anybody, it's a business. Whatever I told my boss today, I said whatever gets us to uh, next January first, twenty twenty five, the quickest. First, yep, I'm there. Same. I just bought them new tailor made irons. I have to tell my wife, listen, baby, I know we invested this much money in them, but I'm team blank next yeah so, same holler at us we're open even at liv <laughs> <laughs> that was his comment it's not my pga <laughs> i'm still with you jack nicholas and tiger in the next coming weeks y'all y'all are going to be able to see on the youtube channel the uh not four man because oh. it was only two oh. made it down don't to remind us panama <laughs> city uh a few weeks ago but y'all two played um jay what, what's his name henley henley, henley. okay Toughest Jay. weather condition we played yeah. in. I remember windy, cold. Yeah, the so windy. It was in our face every ball day. Twenty miles. The middle. day, the week of. Zach texted me. He was like, "Bro, you were to put it on some shorts and be out there just vibing." Oh, I was. City. <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, I even packed shorts." And we get down there. I'm like, "Oh my gosh!" On the way down there, we see the flags mm. on the side of the road. They're just flat, <laughs> boy. Just flat from the wind. But that's kind of like a taste of uh, the career. Like how fun this could be. Absolutely. Like getting that, like we packed up, drove to Panama City, had boys trip, hung out, ate dinner, woke up, played golf, turned around, drove back. Like that's a taste of what we're trying to build here. That's what I'm trying to do. And yeah. you took a cameraman with you, which is yeah. next level. Oh, yeah. That's took next a boy level. with us, too. About to take a mic man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, boom guy. When you got to have a boom me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you watched The Office? <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, boom guy. <laughs> <laughs> when you get a boom me <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm waiting shit. to hear that That's what we'll say uh, uh, <laughs> But no we went down Bay Point is gorgeous Oh it was phenomenal it's I the fall, hate too. the weather Yeah I'm so ready to play it in the summer I Would you say that's like I don't Have y'all ever played any You played PCB courses right Mm-hmm. Would that Is that one better than the other courses you played The views yeah. Absolutely Because it went out into the harbor or something Oh yeah Oh it was so nice And he So he invited us to come back in the spring or summer Yeah uh, I was interested I asked him I said At first I thought it was a private club And he said no it's public And I said but you have members And he said yes And I said well how do they feel about all these tourists coming in and wanting to play a course. And he's like, oh, it's kind of mixed, you know, because it's their course, but then it's open to all these tourists that come in and just kind of don't care for it. I mean, they like it, but they probably don't take care of it like the members do. Yeah. Um, but, no, we had a great time. Jay Jay was so good oh, on camera, such too. A, he's such a good guy. Yeah, I, the first, it was high vibes all day. The first thing Lane said to us when we got the truck was like, oh, he talks so much with the GoPro. We're like, thank goodness. Um, but he laughed at all the jokes. He was having a good time. Like, it was just so nice. fun. So from his profile picture on Instagram, I was like, oh, this is probably some old dude in his 50s. <laughs> like some old boring guy. And he was so alive the whole day. He was. And if he would miss a putt, like, we would, like, just give him a jab. He'd laugh at it. And, yeah. He, uh, it was good vibes Well, that's all good day. that he didn't really take it all serious. Because no. I, I feel like we're, we're getting kind of, like, mixed on that because we want it to be real fun and uh lively but for the channel and competitive at the same time and like i mean maddox was we knew he was going to probably give us some issue but he was real competitive aj was real competitive and scott was real competitive towards it you know right towards the end he got a little a little loosened, bit loosened up but hey sorry somebody put the well they defibrillate defibrillators <laughs> yeah and he kind of <gasps> and he came back but it's a little too late at that point him and the kid we put them both down uh, so there's an exciting shot with a tree. Oh, with Jay? Oh. <laughs> so Jay actually used to be uh, Scott's job at Noonan. Did you okay. know that? Yeah, well, uh, I heard them all talking. Yeah. They're, they're in the same circle. And so then he, he did that when uh, so Bay Point got hit by a tornado. 
tornado hurricane, hurricane. I was uh, about to say. <laughs> into the midwest yeah. hurricane tore the course up so he like came four up. years ago yeah he came up worked at noon in and then went back down there's two courses at bay point now there's only one uh but it's gonna be a great video that will come out in february uh this week is actually me and zach at purcell Ooh, boy what a i'm ready to see the results i don't remember we had some technical issues with the gopro again unfortunately oh, so the video, we figured it out we figured it out yeah, it's the remote know. you cannot take the remote out of the car we're guaranteeing now up the volume. no more gopro issues so this video me and zach will be one uh one video 18 holes and it'll just be a You'll get to see shots. some of Jeremy in there. Yeah, some of his shots. <laughs> You'll see a lot of his tee shots on hole 12, 13. <laughs> no. oh, You'll see a lot of his tee shots. Uh, but, yeah, so it's going to be one video. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and then after that, I think it's your lesson video. Yeah, we're still working on that. Fixing we're, Brady. In, in progress. we got to come up with a good title. I yeah. can't use Fixing Brady because that's already a series <laughs> by a more popular channel. So. And then the finale is going to be you doing a nine-hole on course, right? Right. And we're gonna, I'm going to try to mash them all together right now. From the first lesson, the video's like just under 10 minutes. Yeah. So I think if I can stick like 10 minutes for the first one, 10. Oh, yeah, you can make it one video. And then it'll be about a 30-minute video. Do you like show a couple minutes swing, whole one? Yeah. Yeah. And then Maddox is going to ride with me and give his feedback and like. He should make you walk. Maybe (laughs) we Appreciate the course. Yeah, maybe we will. Oh, I got You can borrow my cart. You push it. Yeah. If I'm filming, I don't want to walk with that okay. camera. Well, you can just drive. All right. Oh, I'll no, take you... a car. I'm a cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take the car. Uh, and then so after that, J video. And then this yeah. week, Sunday morning, we are heading up to Davel, Alabama for the first time of doing this kind of video. Uh, it's going to kind of be our travel series for Alabama. We're going to highlight some courses in Alabama, starting with Stillwater's Golf. The course is the Traditions course. Learn that today. Uh, that'll be in the video. But we're doing a basically... An appreciation uh, series. Yeah, to focus on that, and it's going to be a stable for type points. So you make a birdie, it's like three or four points, something like that. Yeah, we're going to adjust it to where we actually get can score, score. Yeah. double bogeys. Because I mean, there's probably going to be there's a lot of those yeah. in my book. <laughs> we didn't want to end the first round and it being like two points. Or yeah, something like <laughs> somebody only got like ten points and they're leading. Yep. Like that's not fun. So <laughs> it's going to be a fun series though, because everybody's going. to Play their own ball. You'll have a the score. I mean, the score will matter, but it won't matter because it'll be about the points. Um, and then we'll do this every other month. So at the end of the year, there'll be six videos. At the end of that video, we'll ta- tally up everybody's points, and you'll have the BSG golfer of the year. That's how we'll settle uh, who the best golfer. We'll of the get year a cup. Is. Oh, we should get a trophy. Oh, we can, we should get a trophy. Yeah, for that. Yeah, just yeah. something you can yeah have at we home, a, and then a, like a yeah like a plate put where on you can trophy just case or something. Yeah, yeah, and just yeah uh, every year you just get the new plate, and so you have six. Uh, you probably go ahead and get my name done five times in a it. row. Six tournaments uh, to decide who the golfer of the year is. My my goal with it is to like, I mean, obviously we're starting in Alabama where we know most of the courses, and um, I want to uh, eventually expand it to do like all the southeast, oh, and then yeah. I mean if we could do. You think? I mean, Boy, I'm down know, for a mountain trip. 50, all 50 states. That'd be wild. Well, Boy, I'm ready. 49. Well, probably, I don't think yeah, Alaska, say Alaska <laughs> probably don't have much. Maybe this year is six videos, and then next year it can be like one a month. Uh, and we just kind of figure out the best golf. But the good thing is that at any kind of given time, one of us could shoot. I mean, we all shoot decently around the same score, so we don't have to give strokes and like handicaps and all that. It's just going to be all straight up. Uh, points. You sure you don't need strokes? You so I'll take them. You want to give them? You give them to <laughs> I'm not giving on the them. camera. You last time, last time I gave him strokes, I, w- I would And I whooped that tail too. <laughs> I do it again. Whooped that tail. <laughs> the first time we ever played together, whooped that tail. Oh, God, I don't want to get in that though. I beat I beat Brady twice. One's on camera. Go watch it. One's not. Yeah, that one was without strokes. We couldn't do it again. Me and Brady's first time golf together. We rode together. We cut on some Foo Fighters, and I whooped that tail. I don't remember a lot from that round. I tried to forget. I the do. only thing I do remember. From You're that playing round, with a Tiger golf ball. Hole one, you hit your no, drive hold, over to the right. I do remember. We that. thought he lost the tiger ball. Had to punch out. Uh, I made a. I made. I won. You I won part, the first hole. Second hole, you hold out from the bunker. Yep. Uh, ended up beating him. That's all you need to know. After hole Ooh. two, I was checked out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I know. I was like, dang, I ain't ever seen nobody swing that far back in in their bunker shot. Oh yeah. Is I was like, no, there's no, because I think I made a par, and I was I felt good about that, and then uh, Brady. Or maybe I had like a short putt for par. Yeah, yeah, you had like a tap in. Yeah, and then Brady just holes out, and I was like, no. I text Lane in our group. I said, Lane, you coming? <laughs> <laughs> Lane. <laughs> oh, anyways. <laughs> drop zone time? Yeah, let's jump into the drop zone. Who are we presented by? Warlord Beardle. 
Are you ordering some tonight? Oh yeah, I need some I'll more. Make an order. Joni Be- loves it, so she she'll always say that smells so good. What cologne are you wearing? I say, I ain't even put it on yet. Just the beard oil. I love it. Uh, smells great, like he said. Uh, Dark thirty. Dark thirty. Is that the one you're gonna order tonight? No, I like to rotate. I'll probably go back to Apache. That's my favorite. It makes me feel like a warrior. If oh, I have any color shirt on, like y'all's dark blue uh-huh. or black, and I rub my beard a little bit without beard oil on, oh, same skin. That's like, why I do it every day. Uh, it looks like snowflakes falling. My on. face yeah. is so dry. Yeah. That's why I d- I'll put it in my eyebrows Yo, and my my facial hair, nose hair. Oh, well, yeah. You can just breathe you it all in there. Oh, that would burn a little yeah, bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll get both at the same time because it go up in the sinuses and run <laughs> yeah. down. But we love but it. Warlord, better known, Mobile, Alabama. Bud Hadley. Was a nurse in the Army. Medic. Medic. We like medic. Is that the same thing, nurse and Army? I don't know. I think he probably prefers medic. Oh. Medic. I think it's a more ma- masculine term. <laughs> okay, medic. But he created a wonderful company, Warlord. Go check them out. They got more than that. They've got car scents, uh, Facial. Oh, I, I put the new one in the truck this week. smell good? Oh, I love they it. They send you one with every order, or do you buy it? No, I buy it. Oh, okay. I I'm going to have know. to put that in my cart, Yeah, too. BSG 15 at Warlord. But the question of the week, the drop zone question is... Would you ever get tired of making a hole-in-one? I thought of this question today. Here's what, before you answer it, I was thinking, like, okay, you make one hole-in-one, you're, like, super excited. The second one, you're like, oh, my God, I can't believe that happened. But yes. say you get to, like, eight or Easy nine. Easy answer. You wouldn't even... Yes. You get tired of it? Yeah, I think so. After, I think you get a handful. and then. Well, at what number yeah. do you think you're like, okay, this quit being like. Like three. I think once you hit the third, you're like, okay, I'm, I've done it. Now yeah. I need an albatross. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed like you listen to the pro, everybody always asks a pro how many holy ones. And like some people are like, uh, eight, quit maybe nine, I don't know. And I'm like, yeah. okay, to them it's not a big deal anymore. I know a guy which. Brent and uh, Blake can attest because it's his uncle. He has six. You think he's impressed by it, or is he like? I think he. I think he was like when I asked him about it. He seemed like he was ready to tell me about it. Like oh. it wasn't like it was just like you know something that didn't excite. Yeah. Him. I and just it, hope I'm playing a premium ball when I hit it because that's so, got to go on the wall. So you said after three, right? Yeah. So you think by the fourth one, you're like, I just oh. go. I play it the next hole. I was gonna say so on the, the fourth one. Yeah, I just played. So the fourth I, one, you're willing to pick it up. But I'll sign it, give it away. It don't have to go on the wall no more. No, I'm just oh, teeing I'm it up. Of, I'm playing it. I'm putting all of them on the wall. So you're taking it out of play. Oh yeah. You're just teeing it back up and oh, I, I just slice into the, the woods. Look, look, a hole in one <laughs> is the ultimate golf shot. You're right. It's odds like every, odds wise though is <clears throat> it's a higher chance to get that than the albatross. Like, are you mean a lower? Wait. No, it's higher. You're uh, more likely oh, to get a hole okay. in one than an albatross. Do you think you'll get a hole in one in your lifetime? Boy, I hope so. If not, what is all this for? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> what are all these shots for? What am I practicing for if I can't right. get one? And I'm not going to stand up on a tee box and hit 150 balls trying to make a hole in no, one. No, yeah. you want it to be authentic. Yes. That's what I'm thinking, like, and it'd just be the icing on top to now that we film all our rounds if it's on camera. Yeah. I could be like, oh my gosh, watch if this video. If it's not on camera, that's even worse. Because you're like, you got to tell your buddies like, hey, I got a hole in one today, but it wasn't finished. I was alone. I shot a, a 79. <laughs> as long it as, was alone. As long as one of y'all are with me when it happens. Oh, please. But Like when I got my eagle? Oh, oh yeah. that's so exciting. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> it's in. And then you walk up, and I'm like, oh, I must have went off the back. And it was in the cup. And it was in the cup. I wish I would have been able to react more. Whenever that happened, but I was like in the trees. Yeah, y'all were all looking for I the wish balls. We're, I wish yeah. we were filming. That would have been even better. That was the same round we just mentioned earlier. Yeah. Oh, it was, Still, wasn't it? Maple Ridge. Round I beat oh, Brady. yeah, because it was the same day. Yeah. yeah. That was like two holes later after I hold out. 86 exactly. yards out. 56 Ooh. degree wedge. Got it on the uh, wall. I got it. Yeah. I got the first one ball round from the Pines. Oh, I can't stand that course. <laughs> I'm glad it got demolished. <laughs> And then that Coming ball from back better than ever. I hope I hope I, I hope I come back better than ever when it comes back to. That's gonna be when as soon as it uh, opens up. That's gonna be our first match. No cameras, just me and you out there. <laughs> oh, I'm ready. I gotta get, <laughs> By then, I'll be good. <laughs> I'll be fitted for the whole bag. Yeah, all Callaway. Whoever sends me extra clubs. Hey, holla as our DMs are open. No, because I got I got the stealth. Oh yeah, you're right. And then the Sim Two hybrid. But you know all and that could Cleveland change. wedges. Our DMs could get a blue check mark message tomorrow from a Mizuno. Golf Boy, I'm gonna. I throw all these America. clubs in the road. <laughs> that quick? <laughs> I throw them away. I throw them in the lake. Oh shoot! Uh, <laughs> if you hypothetically, 
if you got an email or a message from Callaway, blue check mark in Instagram yep. right now. So we want to sponsor you, but we have to see you break your clubs on camera, I can't live give, stream. I can't just give them to somebody? No, you got to break them on camera to show you're committed. <laughs> That's fine. I'd snap them off. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, the putter would be kind of hard because I love that putter. No, you got to get rid of You got to go with the Odyssey hot shot. I'd break them. I'd break them on camera, and then I'd go get them all reshot <laughs> and just put them up. That's true. Good we that. need to see you break out the, uh, the saw and cut the heads in half. Oh, <laughs> right down the middle. I'll do it. It's like the foot joy warranty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, which is crazy. Yeah. Oh, last thing before we wrap this up. Last thing. Uh, Brady's over here. We never announced this to anyone. He's wearing a hoodie. You're wearing a polo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah I got the polo on. So if you haven't noticed in our last couple videos, we've been wearing some polos that have our logo on them. Uh, they're like sick designs. He's got on a hoodie with the logo. You may be great feel, great fit, ath- athletic fit. That's what I love. Yeah. Uh, you may be not too long. Nope, perfect length. Uh, sleeve length is perfect. You might be wondering like, how do they get that? There, I've had got people DM me, probably two or three people. Yo, where'd you get that polo? Your logo on it. Well, the boys now have a code with a brand. I hate to say it because I don't know if I'd be copying us now, but we have a brand <laughs> with a company called Swanee's Golf. Learned about it when we were in Texas at the Buster Jack event. Saw it at a clubhouse. Uh, the trails of Frisco Lakes. Instantly fell in love. Yeah, the colors. The nice classic design. Yeah. Very That's my favorite thing too. from from where we were yeah. to where we're at now. I feel I feel like I want something I can wear to work. Like I can wear all of yeah. our shirts to work. Did you wear this to work. work today? Yeah, this is my outfit for work. There it is. But I can wear it to work. I can wear it on Saturday. I wear it to church on Sunday. Doesn't matter. Nobody says anything. You They're like, "Oh, that's a nice logo on there." So that's my brand. Yeah, that's us. And you can uh, Zach's polo actually has like a tiger. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, it's all the uh, it's the goats, ain't it? Yeah. Is that the goat one? No, this isn't the goat one. Oh. Oh no, it, that, do, it does a have goat. It does have tigers, the goat, but it's. But you have a, a tea a ball drink. But he has another Clubs. one that has like Arnold yeah. Palmer's. Yeah, umbrella. I got the goats on there. Yeah. Uh, so you can go to Swanee's and you can use the code B Steel fifteen for fifteen percent off. Or if you want a BSG embroidered one, holler at us. We're gonna be placing an order probably within the next month or so. I know I got six in the cart ready. Yep, same. And uh, we'll be hollering. We'll place an order soon, and you can get in on that. But if you just want a plain Swanee's, go to B, their website B Steel fifteen. They have hoodies. Uh, quarter zips, the Mitchell. Van Dyke hoodie. That's what oh, Brady yeah. has on. It's got the zipper on it. Yep. love it. It's Same. got a so it's a quarter zip and a hoodie built all together, and it's it's not like a hoodie like the thick hoodie material. Yeah, very thin. So it's a, it's like a it's pullover, a, yeah, just something a thinner, light, a thinner pullover, very light. Um, it has the drawstrings with it, but I feel like did you take yours out? I did because uh, whenever I wear it playing golf, I just don't like drawstrings uh, moving around. The tassels. Yeah, I don't like. It's just it gets in my vision. And then so. you're you're no laying up hoodie is the same material as the hoodie hoodie, right? I think. Are you talking about theirs? Yeah. It's, oh, a little, this it's is, the same. It's the same one. Yeah. Oh, with, the with, little neck thing. Yeah, yeah. with yeah. the neck gator on. We it need almost. to get us a one, but uh, we need to get the hoodie. But we'll be wearing a lot of the Swannies from now on with our logo. So if you want one, holler at us. We can get you hooked up on the next order. If not. Go to the website, Be Still 15. They got new drops coming this spring. And that's B E S T I L L. Yes, wait, clear. I, got I didn't one five. Yeah. Yep. You got to spell it out. Maybe we'll talk to them about getting that swap yeah. to BSG 15. But we for now, it. Be Still 15, Swannies. That it, boys? That's, all that's it. We about to have a little quick meeting about the video this weekend. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Go check out uh, Moon Golf. Go, they have a web. Oh, by the way, they have a website. You can do everything online. I think they sell on the website, too. Yeah, Yeah, yep. Yep, so you don't have to be local. Go to moongolf.com, Warlord. See you guys next time. Peace.